and welcome back to another candy tasting video. This week we're going to try Spanish candy! I'm freaking excited because this candy has been in my cupboard for at least four weeks, so it's time to try it. Also, I have a new sound. Do you notice a difference? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for your feedback, always appreciate it. First, we're going to start off with... Well, let's start off with these cute thingies. So, it's like... I don't know, it looks a little bit like M&M's and jelly beans had a baby, something like that. And they're in these cute tubes, which remind me of Smarties. So I'm very, very curious if, if there's any chocolate involved. I would be very happy with that. Come on. <gasps> no, like this is not nail polish friendly at all, this packaging. Oh, it actually is. <gasps> I think there's chocolate involved. They actually look a little bit like the cheap version of Smarties. Like. <laughs> the sides are all cracked and everything. Okay. Mm, smarty. I like this a lot. This is a nine. I love these types of candies. Mm -mm -mm. A savory snack is next. So this is... Let me try my best Spanish. Los auténticos gusanitos. <laughs> so it looks like something like Cheetos, but without the Cheetos things. And I don't know. Let's try... Okay, <laughs> it, it smells like very vintagey, very, very old. Uh, they're corn snacks, so they melt in your mouth. And there's actually no other flavoring than just salt. I really, really like these. They're so light and airy, very dangerous because you just keep eating them. You can finish this bag in like 15 minutes and not even notice that you ate it. I would give this um, an eight. I really, really like these. As you can see, Stefan already ate, what is it? Like. Four of these. So it's seven. What? He ate five of these? No way. No, he ate four of these. There are seven in the packaging. You get one for free. Which means they are probably really, really good because he is such a picky eater. Let me see. Huesitos. Huesitos blanco. So I think the regular huesitos <laughs> are with uh, just milk chocolate, but these are with white chocolate. I don't know why I chose the blanco, but. Let me see. So they look like candy bars with wafers and white chocolate. Mm. They are. Mm. They're quite plain in flavor. The wafer is also not that crispy. I am, I'm not very pleased with these. Maybe because nowadays I'm not really a fan of uh, Blanco Chocolate. <laughs> I don't know how you say chocolate in Spanish. But Blanco Chocolate mm -mm, is not my jam anymore. So I think they're quite flavorless. I would give this one a four. Next up, another savory snack, and I'm very, very, very excited, very, very excited to try these. So these are Cheetos Pelotazos Futebolas. <laughs> Futebolas. Pelotazos Futebolas. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> they are like little soccer balls in a snack. So I'm thinking this is again with corn. Is it with corn? Oh, you like it to be with corn. Yes, it's with corn. I love corn-based snacks, savory snacks. Mm. Mm. These are so good. What is the flavor, actually? Cheese, of course. <laughs> I love cheese. I love these. I would give these a nine. They are so freaking good. Oh, man. Mm. The last sweet snack is this Fini Cinema Mix, gluten-free. Whatever, it just looks like cute candy, so I was dying to try it. Man, come on, work with me. Work with me, don't make me... Awesome, I don't need to get scissors. So, they are super jelly, but quite dense at the same time. They are not like wine gums at all. Oh, this looks good, man. Mmm, I have no idea what kind of flavor that was. Let me try the strawberry one, because this looks like a strawberry, so I'm assuming that it is a strawberry. Flavor. They are not the easiest things to chew. The strawberry flavor also doesn't really come through. It's quite chemical. I would give these um, a 7. Even though the flavors don't really come through, it's, uh, I enjoy this type of candy. So it's quite jellyish and chewy and everything, and it's very fruity, even though you have no idea what kind of fruit flavor you are eating. The last savory snack is 
well, I'm assuming that this is popcorn, but it looks so different than regular popcorn that I wanted to try it and make sure it is popcorn. The name is Palomitas. Rebelate. Rebellious popcorn, I guess. I don't know. Let me try. They are flying everywhere. Okay. It again smells very vintagey. What is it with corn smelling so vintagey and old and ugh? This is not popcorn. It does have a little bit of a butter flavor. I have never tasted something like this before. What? This is weird. I must eat more. It tastes quite good because of the butter flavor. And it's the same texture as these, just a little bit less lighter. So it's like puffed corn meal something base in, in the shape of popcorn, but it's definitely not popcorn. It's good, but the aftertaste is also a little bit vintagey old. Ugh. So because of the aftertaste, I would give them a seven. Otherwise they would have gotten definitely an eight because this is, this is good. This is an experience. I would highly recommend you to try this. I've never tried something like this before. I hope you enjoyed this Spanish candy tasting. If you did, click that subscribe button because there's definitely going to be a part two. My cupboard is still stuffed with Spanish candy. Yes, it is. And if you like this video, put a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.